So Walmart has this thing called an extension bonus, and this is the highest I've ever seen it, $300. Um, so the way this works is if you are on a five day schedule, you can extend one extra day. So you work a sixth day and whatever you make that day, all the mileage, all the activity, uh, your layover pay for sleeping in the truck, you make all that plus the bonus. It's an incentive to work an extra day when they have high volume. And so typically the bonus will be larger during the holiday season. And then any other time uh, in the year when they just have high volume, and they need to move more freight than they can typically handle, they're gonna uh, incentivize us drivers with a bonus. I've seen it like 175, 250, 275. Currently it's $300. So, you know, if your average day's pay is $400, somewhere higher somewhere lower you're making that well you're not making that necessarily it's whatever you work that day if you work a full day um, you're gonna make really good money that day if you only work like half a day well you're making whatever you made plus the $300 bonus you typically you just have to have at least six hours of available drive time uh, going into that sixth day and you kind of have to let your dispatcher know the first day of your week that this is your intention that you're going to extend and you have to be on a five day schedule you can't be on a six day and get the bonus you're already scheduled to work that six day there's not enough hours in the week for you to extend so um i've extended once since i've been with walmart and it's just not for me um the money doesn't quite do it for me uh you know i only have two days off Right, I got a two hour commute to get home. I have a wife and two kids and it's just one of those days that I'm at home, my wife works, it's just not enough. You could not incentivize me enough to miss one of those days at home. It's just, it doesn't work for my situation. Now, today I spoke to two people, um, one, in, one on the phone, one via email, um, I see this all the time. I've had mentees that I go out with tell me um, basically they would rather work the extra day. They'd rather sleep in the truck, live in the truck if they could. Um, you know, you do have to go home at the end of your work week with Walmart. You can't stay on the property. You can't stay in the truck. But if you're one of those guys who just wants to maximize the time in the truck and make all the money you can, this is for you. So this particular bonus, they're offering, offering it for six weeks. Um, as of now, they might extend that even longer. We'll see, but for right now, it's for six weeks. And um, you could do it every week if you wanted to. You know, if that's better for you and your situation, you don't really care about the home time. Um, and yeah, might as well work the six day and get paid. And then you only have one day where you're out of the truck you know, 34 hours, basically. Um, I know some drivers that take advantage of this all year long. If there's a bonus, that's the only time they extend, or they'll do it at least, you know, once a month if it's available. Um, you can significantly raise your average day's pay. This is, I believe this is earned income. So this really does, and if it's not, um, having an extra work day on your, uh, pay period that alone will help sway your uh, average day's pay one direction or the other so if you're constantly putting in uh, work days with a greater um, take-home pay than your average the more of those days that you have above your average the faster you're gonna move your average up so $300 uh, that's pretty amazing so I also heard they're trying to you know we're trying to get rid of or limit uh, how many outside carriers we're using. And a lot of this money is what they're already paying for them. And so they figure they'd rather just give it to us. So they increased the bonus from last year's 275, I think it was. That's it, see you on the next one.